All right, so today we're going to look at how to build a simple weekly attendance tracker. On this one, I have slots for seven days, but you could simply delete two of these to go down to five if you just wanted your weekday tracker. Um, you could also modify this easily if you wanted to go to monthly and so forth. So on this one, I just have a list of names here, and then I have slots for days. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter in a date here. And then we're just going to add one for each of these to get us a full week. I'll just drag that across. And then I'm just going to add these weekdays up here. And so I just put an equals, so it's pulling that date in from below. And then let's just go ahead and change this format to a weekday. So I have it ready there because I was doing this before. I'm going to show you how to do this from scratch. So you'll probably come in here and it'll be like this. So you can go ahead and just clear these out, select day, and then just change this to you do Tuesday or you do the full um, abbreviation or full one. So we'll just do the abbreviation like that. And then pull them like that. So now we have our dates and our weekdays. So you can quickly see that. So let's go ahead and set up a Google form so that way we can record our responses. I'm going to go ahead and copy these names to my clipboard. And then let's go ahead and go to tools and create a new form. So in this one, we just need to select name, select name right here, and then we want to add these options. So I just hit paste there, and those options came in. And that's actually all that we need, because what our plan is, is that whenever they fill this out, we'll use the automatic timestamp that Google adds to populate um, the date there. And so we can simply go straight to preview. We can select a name, for example, Nico. And then now over here, we have a new tab. And we have a timestamp there that I mentioned. And there's the name. So we can get rid of these other columns if we like. We just delete those. And from here, we can now populate our weekly tracker. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab just another one just so we can kind of see how that works so let's do Dwayne and then we can go ahead and X this out for now so one thing you could keep in mind on this Google form is you could add another question for example if you wanted to give them perhaps a reason uh, for a no show or something like that but for now we're just gonna do it very simple keep it simple and uh, so here we have our timestamps and our names and so these 822s we want to be able to match into here and so what we can do here is we can basically do a formula to match any entries that match this date and this name. So in Tuesday, for example, we can do a number of different formulas. So one that we could try is a count if, for example. Um, we'll actually do count ifs because we got to check a couple different things. And so we're going to go in here and let's check the name first. And then we're just going to compare it to this C7. And then we need to do comparison on this date. And so we can grab this date column. Kind of mess me up there. Let's do A to A. And then we want greater than or equals to and this date. But we also need to have an end date on there, so we can go ahead and grab this again and do less than or equals to, and let's just do a plus one there. And so we don't have any for this date, which makes sense when they drag it over into here. But before we drag it over, let's go ahead and I'm going to hit F4 in these to add dollar signs to prevent those from getting modified as I drag them over. And this C7, I'm just going to do the C because I want this 7 to drag down to also apply to Connor, Taylor, and so forth. We're going to hit F4 here. And then up here, instead of D, I actually want the 6 because this is going across the top. So I'm doing the opposite of what I did with the name. And again here, F4. And then again here, the same thing with that D6. So this should be good now. We can drag this across. And there, picked up a 1. And then we can drag this down. And there's Dwayne. So 
Um, that works okay, and we can leave it like that if we like. Um, we could even do some highlighting here if we wanted to, and say if um, it's equal to zero, we can make it show up a certain way, for example, um, or so forth. But we're not going to do that at the moment. But we will just do this. We'll just add up our sum here, and then we can divide it by seven to get our attendance rate. Just like that. And so obviously this is only going to record um, and look back at the whole week. So if we're, for example, currently we are on Tuesday. And so we could do this and do um, count if and this where it is less than or equals to today. And now we have 50%. So this one we just need to lock. We can drag this down, and now it's not it's disregarding these because this is not current yet. All right, so that's it um, on this weekly tracker. I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to put together something like this. If you want to check out our other tutorials, we have plenty of tutorials on both Google Sheets and Google Apps Script. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. To Exxon.